Hey, g'day guys, this is Jim from um, AccurateForexTrader.com um, I just want to do a quick video on uh, discussing modifying my current EA, the SMS, SMSF EA or even just build a new uh, EA completely, Expert Advisor, Trading Robot, whatever you want to call it I just need some um, feedback, some help from uh, fellow traders Got a few ideas bounced around in my head as you know and um, yeah, so here I've got a um, pound yen four hour chart, just a nice simple chart. The red and green dots are just a, a, a custom indicator um, I had built. QMP filter. QMP filter. Now all it does is takes a combination of my MACD Platinum and my QQE Advanced and gives me a puts a dot in the chart where my signals are generated by those indicators. If you want any of those indicators just let me know just contact me through the website at accuratefoxtrader.com and I will get those indicators to you most of you have probably already got them but here's my ideas I just want to bounce a few ideas around now just to, so we all are talking about the same thing to the right of this blue vertical line here I have a green dot which for, is a buy signal all right so that green dot will not appear on the chart until this candle closes has to be confirmed so this doesn't repaint it doesn't disappear so as soon as that candle closes and it's confirmed as a buy signal that green dot will appear on your chart all right so we'll call this candle with the dot either below it or above it as in the case of a red one we'll call that the signal candle then the immediate candle to the right is the entry candle so if we were going to take this buy signal buy signal here it would be confirmed when this candle closes and the entry signal would be on the open of this entry candle all right so that's pretty simple that's set in concrete nothing changes there once that dot's confirmed and we're going to take a trade it'll be on the open of that one so let's just clear that so we get rid of them so it's the signal candle and the entry candle now what I was looking at with the way the EA is at the moment if I set a hard stop on the EA that stop could be like say for example if I set a hundred pip stop it's always going to be 100 pips away from the entry it's probably not ideal because obviously candle size changes uh, you know the signals could be just it just doesn't look right so what I'm trying to do is come up with a better sort of solution to that and with another few other little ideas bouncing around also so we'll stick to this one just to the right of the blue line so we've got a buy signal confirmed here the EA would open a trade on that entry channel so let's just put I've got a red and a blue line horizontal line here the blue line I'll use as the entry so as we can see that's entry this is a great trend so oh, you know, look, look at that goes straight up so don't worry about it too much so that's my entry point now initially the EA would put a stop just below that green green dot now this is not going to be set in concrete with regards to um, where it sits on the chart looks visually because as we know charts scaling changes and see how when I zoom it right in the actual red line is through the dot now instead of below it whereas if you go right up it's it's below it so it doesn't matter it's just a point doesn't have to be precise but it's in that vicinity so there's my risk it's um, 60 just over 60 pips so straight away stop place there entry point there now a couple of things I was thinking about uh, first thing if I've got a in this case because it's a buy if I've got a bullish candle on my entry candle so it closes higher than it's open which this one does then immediately once this entry candle closes and confirms it as a bullish candle move my stop to the low of that candle so I reduce my risk down to not even 10 pips and as you can see it's a great trend so that's one option um, I'm not sure about this I'm just looking for different ways let's go have an example I'll just quickly scroll back All right we're looking at this 
just bear with me all right we're looking at this one here here's our signal candle there's an entry point and there's the bearish candle not good at all stops me out I'll dis actually I'll discuss that further shortly we I'll just look for another example sorry I'll just as you can see I'm very prepared oh here's here's one here all right right here's the green dot here's the entry point so we're looking at this candle here signal candle entry candle now this one's bearish now because it's a bearish candle closes lower than it's open on the entry we could leave the red line or the stop there if we moved it up we're obviously going to get stopped out on that next very, very next candle and the chances are we are going to get stopped out because that's a bearish candle so we've got a couple options we can either leave it there or we can move it up to the bottom of that candle doesn't matter what because I've got a plan for re-entries now see how it stops out then actually it opens just below the um, original entry point comes down we don't know what the movement is it's a four-hour candle so it could bounce around there forever but it comes up and goes back through I'm looking at re-entries also so as long as that trend see it's a, a green dot here as long as there's no red dots as far as I'm concerned the long trend or the buy trend is still intact so if it comes down stops me out then goes back through the entry point we take a re-entry now I'd be taking that re-entry with a bigger position so say that one was in for one lot then this one comes down stops me out then the next re-entry on that would be for two lots and as soon as I recovered my loss which would be about this area here from the previous trade I'd automatically close one lot so it recovers that loss and I've got a fresh trade starting there now my issue is I've got a fresh trade starting at this level I don't know where the market's going to go do I move my stop there or do I put my stop yeah it's there's little tricky things I gotta think of let's have a look at it for you so let's just say we're going to take every trade here with different scenarios so we'll start with this red one so we're going short so immediately the trades entered so here's a good example here's your initial risk 63 pips roughly it's a bearish candle straight down bring the stop to bring the stop to the top there risk is negligible and off she goes great trade how we manage it is another another discussion right here's a buy so we'll, oh, so we'll take the buy here's the entry so we're on this candle here that's a signal candle is the entry candle again nice bullish candle move the stop up really reduce the risk comes back down goes back up comes back down goes back up so we might add a couple of re-entries in there but because there's a green dot and there's no red dot the trend up is still intact so we could have recovered each time no worries at all all right we'll go to the next trade which is a sell now this is an ugly one completely ugly signal candle now it's a bullish candle next on the entry but if we did move our stop down all we're doing is reducing and as you can see we would have taken that loss there nearly 30 pips and it's just gone up there's no chance of re-entry because we've got a green dot so here's our next one so we've got the buy so our stops placed below the signal candle the dot entry points there now that's a bearish candle so this is where we, the options are we can I've got to decide whether to leave that there or move it every candle I'm thinking move it up every candle if I move it up there this is a buy and the trends intact all the way till this next red dot so even though we're bouncing around that little area there with bigger trades we would recover that loss see the spikes up we would recover that little range there every time doesn't matter how far it goes below the red line it could just go one pip doesn't matter if it goes to 300 pips doesn't matter as long as that trend remind remains intact so eventually we go up All right, let's have a look here red dot so we're up here red dot entry uh, there bearish candle which is good just right down to there 
Now this one gets a bit ugly because we bounce around that area there and we would have recovered each one of those but it gets a bit ugly in here so I'm not sure what would happen there. You really have to drill it down to like a one minute chart to have a look exactly at the price movements. So here we go. So there's our signal. Stop there initially. Entry there. Next candle. It's bullish. Go there. So reduce the risk down to 16 pips. And look, at, it goes up 74 pips. So easy profit there. Let's go to the next one. Another good, another good drop down. Initial stop's pretty big, but it's just a protection stop, just like a safety stop, that initial one. Look at that, we've risked that, and there's a big move down. All right, next trade. All right, there's our initial risk. This is on this buy trade, 32 pips roughly. Now, bring that up. Look at the small range in there. Sure, we've got it stopped out, but bang, it's gone again. Would have recovered that loss, because all we have to do is recover that gap in there, which is five pips. So we would have easily recovered five pips in there, somewhere about there. And the, from, uh, sorry about that moving around, from there up is all gravy. Uh, let's go here, sell. So we're up on this red dot here, up here. There's our entry point, initial risk. We always got that initial risk. Saying one candle, that's 50 pips on a four hour chart. On this pair, that's nothing. Uh, what do we got? So we can bring that right down there. And risk is now just under 30 pips. And that moves down 125 pips. Excellent. Here's another one. And, uh, original stop, entries there. Move it up to there after the first candle, entry candle. Re-entry. Range that we've got to recover. It's only 16, 17 pips. And off she goes. 87 pips. Right, we're up to the cell. Entry point there. Bring the stop down. Stopped out. No worries. Don't worry how high it goes. Trend still... Trend still intact, even though we've been stopped out. Bigger position, recover that loss, which is only uh, 15 pips, and we're off again to the races, down 200 pips. So you can see what I'm talking about. So we've got the ent uh, the signal candle, entry candle. Place the original stop above or below x amount of pips above the below the green or red dot. Uh, options are the just move the stop if it's a bearish or bullish candle that goes in uh, sync with the trend or just move it every candle so that's one option then I talked about re-entries I'll probably go into that a little bit further and further videos but you just get the idea so if you want any more information you can contact me through my website it's got an email address in there so accuratefourextrader.com thanks very much guys